Well, this little girl came in because the owners were concerned that she's got a swollen area down here. That's what people always say is down here. And then I gotta figure out what down here means. Sometimes it means down here, and usually it means down here. But the swelling tends to be, in this case, it's down here. And her nipples are swollen right at the base. Let's see. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I'm touching your nipples. That is a lush uh, it's the, sw the swelling is right around the nipple. And this is a young dog. She's only a year old. And um, she just came out of heat uh, a few two weeks ago. So we'll, if she also has, dogs in heat will often have a swollen vulva. And she does. So things that will cause swelling in the mammary glands and swollen vulvas can be just coming out of heat. They can have a, actually a, a vaginitis, which is an infection of the lining of the vagina. Or they can have um, a bite. <laughs> she sees the time time. She says, this is very inappropriate. Um, so, uh, but she's just come out of heat, and she's got the swelling in their mammary glands, so she's probably undergoing a false pregnancy. What happens is sometimes they, they ovulate, they always ovulate during the heat, um, and her body thinks that she's pregnant, and so it starts to get a mild swelling in the mammary glands, and then, uh, but sometimes they'll, actually they'll produce a little milk, they'll carry toys around, and they'll act real maternal. Other things that can cause swelling in the mammary glands are little nodules, and that's mammary tumors. They occur in all dogs, but particularly in those dogs that haven't been spayed. So you can check your dog's, you know, it's always good to get familiar with your dog's anatomy and make sure that you check your dog for lumps and bumps, especially in the mammary area. Is that okay? You are no you're a good dog. So, um, let's see what else. And then sometimes they can get bites down there, they can get an abscess, they could get an infected mammary gland, which will cause an, um, a swelling, and kind of it can usually be red or purplish. She says, I'm out of here, I want to, where's my mom? Where's your mom? You want to go out and see? Are you tired of the video? Are you tired of the video? You, you have to answer me before you can go. Are you tired? Okay, you can go. She can go. I hope that gave you enough information. Have a great day. So dogs can have a false pregnancy when they ovulate and their uterus starts getting ready for um, pregnancy or for babies, but really they don't have any, uh, they don't have any embryos that are coming down and implanting. And uh, the trouble is some dogs that have false pregnancy also don't have a very uh, good reproductive cycle and can get infections. So it's better to spay them. Uh, dogs that are spayed have a much less chance of getting ma mammary cancer, breast cancer. So if you, and if you know somebody that has dogs, that, a dog that has skin problems all the time or ear problems, uh, have them check out my website, Dog Dish Diet. Um, what I've found is if you can eliminate allergens in the diet and give healthy oils, then uh, the itching, itchy dogs and dogs with diarrhea uh, clear up. Not all of them, but a little bit of nutrition is far cheaper than veterinary medicine. You all know how expensive that is these days. Have a great day.